Here we are at uh, Red Bull Media Headquarters and we're in uh, Salzburg, Austria. Absolutely beautiful city for those of you who haven't been here. And this is the main hub where media gets made for various Red Bull products. We're here today to talk with Christoph about 4K. And Christoph, if you would like to just tell folks what it is that you do here and you just describe the kind of setup we're actually using for the shoot. We are shooting on a Sony F55 uh, connected to a HR Key Pro Quad over four PNCs and we are recording on the uh, HR with Apple ProRes 4x4. What you're getting there of course is with Apple ProRes 4x4 you're at least getting that deep color space which is always great if you're going to go for high resolution, right? It's not just about resolution, is it? No, it's not just about resolution, we also need the bit depth to have the possibilities for post-production for color correction as well. So we need to achieve uh, 10 or 12 bit. For those who might not be familiar with the whole operation, it's a pretty extensive operation. Is this the only location for Red Bull Media or are there even more locations? This is our broadcasting station and of course there is the headquarter in, in Fushal. So altogether we are about thousand people or more but I can't say your exact numbers <laughs> because it's, it's raising so so fast. What types of projects do you do? We are working on different projects on the one hand in the broadcasting area we are doing 3D 4k as well we did some test shootings last month on Canon C500 and Sony F55 as well and we're also working on uh, several feature film projects together with our US colleagues where we also use the F55 or uh, F65 combined with, with the Archer. So really a, a wide range of stuff. Um, yeah, I think people would be quite shocked that you effectively work like a full broadcast station with all the uh, gear you have running here. Yeah, we are using about 12 edits here in the media house. We are working on Final Cut 7 on Mac Pros with HR Kona cards installed to have the image on the external displays in the edits. And we are using HR Kona cards in our Inches Playout Center to capture from VTRs. We are currently using a 4K or a quad full HD display in our color edit. Currently over HDMI directly from the Mac Pro or for the MacBook Pro. We would really like to look into the Hi5 to connect the system over SDI to HDMI conversion as well. It's not just typical network television that you're supporting and distributing to, is it? No, definitely not. So on the one hand, we have the linear broadcasting station, Servus TV, but we have different online pages where you can see all of the world of Red Bull, like the redbullcontentpool.com. It's mainly used for communication purposes and, and other broadcasters. There are also the sales catalog where you can buy the high quality content from the media house and of course uh, in the cinema. What would your advice be to folks that are looking at these workflows in terms of what they should be looking at for storage systems as a minimum? That always depends on the use cases and as you can imagine for uncompressed footage in, in 4K you need a lot of storage so we always have to be aware of the situation in the planning. If we do some international event shootings or mainly we'll use the, the, the content for broadcasting, the way is to shoot it raw and then do a technical grading on this content. And for the post-production pipeline, uh, again, depending on the use case, uh, normally we are working on ProRes 422 or 422 HQ. And for higher quality, we go for ProRes 4x4 with uh, maximum bit depth of, of 12 bit. Do you tend to use fiber connectivity between machines? Do you work off a SAN? Or are you doing just direct hookup? We are using fiber connections. That's our main connection. We sometimes additionally use FireWire or Thunderbolt connections as well on the new systems. But the whole server or DDN system behind the edits is connected via fiber channels. For those of us who just follow Red Bull as, as a casual thing, you seem to be everywhere. Uh, yeah, it, it seems to be. <laughs> Thanks for this. Um, yeah, we are, as, as I said before, uh, we are in, in different markets. So on the one hand, in, in high quality feature film productions. On the other hand, in, in uh, broadcasting, doing international events where we also use the Keypro Quad to do the dailies in combination with the Phantom camera. So Christoph, thanks very much for spending some time with us today. Uh, we wish you all the best in terms of your continuing 4K experiments and we know full well from previous Red Bull uh, projects that we're going to be seeing some fabulous stuff on screen soon. I will thank you as well. Thank you for being here and, and have this nice talk. <laughs>